Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I just went to uh, Taco Bell and I got a three taco combo and then I threw in like one of those Dorito tacos uh, with the combo, right? You know, so I had a total of four tacos and a Pepsi or Coke or whatever this is. And, um, you know, I was hungry as hell. So basically after downing the tacos and, you know, drinking, you know, my little Coke or whatever, I'm still hungry. And I'm thinking to myself, how in the hell am I still hungry after eating four tacos? It feels like I haven't really eaten anything, right? And I don't know why I go to Taco Bell. I guess there's some type of mental disorder I have whereby I think that, um, you know, I go to Taco Bell once and I'm not satisfied. And then I say, you know what, I'm just not going to go there again. And lo and behold, three or four months later, I'm like, hey, you know, there's a Taco Bell. Let me go and get some tacos. And I go there again. And I don't know why I keep going. Uh, maybe there's some type of uh, subliminal programming that Taco Bell is doing to us. I don't know. But I keep going even though I'm never, ever, ever satisfied from eating these damn tacos. Like in order for me to get full off, off of Taco Bell, I think I would have to eat probably about 15 tacos in order to basically be full and be satisfied. Three tacos is just not going to do it. So that led me to say... That, that lets me to think, like, what's in these damn tacos that makes me so damn hungry after eating four tacos? I should be full, right? Um, so I did a little research. And after di doing a little research, I discovered that Taco Bell has been scamming all of us probably for decades, right? So here I am on Taco Bell's website. And we're just going to click. Right, we're just gonna do a little research here. We're just gonna click the menu, and when that pops up, come on. We uh, and so we go to tacos, and then we go to let's say soft tacos, right? And it says basically what's included. You can get a seasoned beef taco, right? Seasoned beef, and you can get extra beef. And for whatever reason, I've tried the chicken, but I noticed when I get the chicken tacos, this one particular restaurant, they will give me like three small itty bitty pieces of chicken. No matter what I get that's outside the beef, I always get less of it. Like if I get steak, I'll probably get like two strips of steak, right? So let's go and look at some of these other items. And we can also do the crunchy taco. And then you'll see that, you know, you have all these options. And one of the options is basically seasoned beef, right? So, of course, it's going to be the same throughout the website. It's going to be the same. Burrito is going to be the same thing. Let's see here. This one looks nasty for some reason. I don't know why. But if I click on the beefy five-layer burrito, it tells you it's beef, right? It tells you that it's seasoned beef. Well, they've been scamming us. They have actually been scamming us. So let's go ahead and get into this lawsuit. You're going to be surprised. Like if you eat Taco Bell and you've been eating it on a regular basis, you're really going to be surprised with this Taco Bell lawsuit. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so, hey, here I have is a lawsuit by Amanda Obney. Uh, on behalf of herself and others similarly situated, she's about to get paid. She is about to get paid. This is a class action lawsuit, and basically it's against Taco Bell. And you can see that they list several other people. Well, actually, this is the, the lawyer's address, but it's a class action lawsuit. Now, interestingly enough, this was filed back in January uh, 9th, 2011, but the case has actually been unsealed. Like the case was sealed and obviously something happened. I'm not sure what could have happened. I can only speculate. Maybe they gave them some hush money for them to shut up and not tell the secret. But this case has been unsealed and it is currently pending in the United States District Court of Central California. And there may be other similar suits, right? So I'm just going to read some of the lawsuit to you. Uh, you know, the, the nature of the case is that you're not really eating uh, 
meat when you go to Taco Bell. I mean, if you just want to know what this lawsuit is all about, I'll tell you. You don't have to watch the rest of this video. Basically, when you go to Taco Bell, you're not eating meat, right? So you may as well be a vegan because of what they put in a taco. But let me just go ahead and read it, right? This is a consumer rights class action challenge to Taco Bell's practice of representing to consumers that the filling in many of its beef food items is seasoned ground beef or seasoned beef when in fact a substantial amount of the filling contains substances other than beef. So you're not getting beef. You know, you, you think you're getting meat, but you're, you're not. Rather than beef, these food items are actually made with a substance known as taco filling meat. That's what you're getting. Taco meat filling mostly consists of extenders and other non-meat substances. Taco meat filling is not beef. In fact, it does not meet the minimum standards set by the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, to be labeled or advertised as beef, seasoned or otherwise. This action seeks to require Taco Bell to properly advertise and label these food items and to engage in a corrective advertising campaign to educate the public about the true content of its products. Defined below. And then it goes on to say, plaintiff brings this action pursuant to the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure 23A B2 on behalf of herself and all similarly situated consumers of, of menu items advertised and labeled by the defendant containing seasoned ground beef or seasoned beef and the general public. Plaintiff seeks to halt the dissemination of Taco Bell's false and misleading advertised message and correct the false and misleading perception it has created in the minds of consumers. Now, obviously, I don't think they've won this lawsuit because I just had three tacos and I'm hungry as hell, so I'm damn sure that I didn't get beef in my tacos, right? So, jurisdiction and venue, uh, I, I'd like to skip this part, but I'll read it anyway. This court has originally original jurisdiction pursuant to 28 U.S.C. 1332. The matter in controversy excludes of interest and costs exceeds or I'm sorry, exceeds the sum or value of five million dollars. So these people are going after Taco Bell for five million big big ones, right? And is a class action lawsuit in which members of the class or of plaintiffs are citizens of the states different from Taco Bell. Further, greater than two thirds of the class members reside in states other than the state which Taco Bell is a citizen. Huh. So that's an interesting fact. I didn't know that. Taco Bell. I, I, I've always thought that Taco Bell was a citizen of all states, but maybe Taco Bell is just a citizen of California, right? And then they just do business in other states. But man, these people are about to get paid. I mean, I wish I could put my name in this lawsuit because they damn sure is not selling beef. It's really just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before Taco Bell offers up some type of plea deal. Or, or I don't know if it's called plea deal, but they offer some type of uh, settlement. Yeah, that's what it's probably called. There, there's only a matter of time before Taco Bell settles. Because if I were a CEO at Taco Bell, there's no way in God's green earth that I would allow this case to continue to go through. Because you're going to lose because you're not. Everybody and their mama probably knows by now after eating those tacos, you're going to be hungry as hell and you're going to have to eat damn near 30 of those tacos just to be full, right? And then it goes on to say, venue is proper in this court pursuant to 28 U.S.C. 1391 in that many of the acts and transactions given rise to this action occur in this district and because Taco Bell is headquartered within the Southern District of, within the Southern Division of this district, is authorized to conduct business in this district and has intentionally availed itself of the laws and markets within the district's through promoting marketing, distribution, and sale of its products in this district. Does substantial business in this district and is subject to personal jurisdiction of this district. So there you go. So if you ever wanted to know where Taco Bell's headquarters is, it's in California, the Southern Division, right? Plaintiff is a resident of California. During the relevant time period, plaintiff was exposed in California to the defendant's advertising and labeling claims that the subject beef food items were filled with seasoned ground beef or seasoned beef based, based on these representations, as well as the reasonable belief that the defendant would accurately and honestly describe its products. Plaintiff believed the taco meat filling was, was seasoned beef 
and in reliance thereon, purchased the food items, thereby uh, suffering injury, in fact, and losing money as a result of the alleged conduct. Oh, so she got sick. I'm, I believe that's what this is building up to. Plaintiff wanted to purchase B-filled food taco items from Taco Bell, but did not receive what she believed what she was purchasing. Defendant Taco Bell Corporation is a California company, which is principal place of business in Irvine, California. There you go. That's where the Taco Bell headquarters is, Irvine, California. So if uh, you want to go down and protest, go to Irvine, California, and tell them to either just go vegan or go beef or go home. Taco Bell Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Young Brands. That's something I didn't know. Uh, I have never heard of a company called Young Brands, so, you know, that probably is a good video in and of itself uh, to figure out how Young Brands took over Taco Bell. And you know what? I noticed with a lot of these companies, most of their core business changed when they got bought out. Like, I remember going to KFC when I was a kid, and the, and the chicken was decent. It was okay. And back then, it wasn't actually called KFC. It was called Kentucky Fried Chicken. But something happened, and they changed the name from Kentucky Fried Chicken to KFC. And I noticed that the ownership also changed. So a lot of times when there's a change of ownership, the new owners want to do something new. They, they, you know, you tend up, you, you tend to end up with goofy, crazy stuff like this, right? Uh, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but Young Brands, it'll be interesting to look into this company and find out what Young Brands is all about, right? Whatever companies they own. Okay, is the largest Mexican food chain in the United States. It operates, manages, or franchises more than 5,600 locations in the United States and has sales in 2009 exceed in excess of one billion so they made one billion dollars by fooling you thinking you getting beef and they really actually selling you something else and you're gonna be surprised to find out what's actually in these tacos more than 35 million consumers visit taco bell restaurant each week and more than two billion consumers are served annually so they fooling a lot of people out of a lot of money 35 million people think that they are eating beef and you're actually eating something else. And and here's the thing. Based on what's actually in, we're going to hopefully we get to this in a minute, but I'm not 100% upset about what's actually in the taco. That's the funny thing. What I am upset about is that, you know, they need to just go vegan. They need to just simply go vegan and make better tacos instead of, you know, tr lying to people and telling people that, you know, you're getting beef when you're not. Just go ahead and go vegan and just call it a day, and you're going to see why in a second. From its headquarters and restaurant support center in California, Taco Bell determines that, I'm sorry, Taco Bell determines the contents of its advertisers and labeling includes, uh, including the menu items. Defendant's conduct. Taco Bell operates, managed markets, and franchises fast food restaurant in California and throughout the United States. Taco Bell restaurants serve Mexican-style foods, including, but not limited to, tacos, burritos, gorditas, chalupas, and quesadillas. Consumers are generally given a choice between chicken, beef, or carne asada steak, right? Now, I'm going to tell you, every time I get something other than chicken, I mean, I'm sorry, every time I get something other than beef, uh, if I get chicken, they they really just give me like maybe two or three strips of chicken. And when I say strips, I mean small, minuscule pieces, and they just fill it up with like lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. So it's almost like a ripoff uh, when you get anything other than uh, beef. And uh, apparently you're being ripped off when you get beef as well, because you're not even getting beef, right? So... They really, it to me, it's really just a scam company. They give you, they charge you a lot, and they give you little or nothing in return, you know. So, I don't know. And, and you know what? The policy may be different from the different neighborhoods you go into. Because I've gone to Taco Bell's and other neighborhoods, and the, the food seems to be pretty good. It's only when you go into these black neighborhoods that you find these companies are looking to scam you and give you little or nothing return or it's only because you're black when you go into uh well-to-do neighborhoods 
they'll look at you and then they'll give you, you know, little enough to return for your money. Right. You know, so that's, in my opinion, that's one of the unseen aspects of racism. Right. Uh, anyway, the chicken and carne uh, asada steak served by Taco Bell is, in fact, chicken or carne asada steak. The seasoned beef, however, is not beef. Taco Bell advertised and labels many of its beef food items to consumers as containing seasoned beef or seasoned beef, seasoned ground beef or seasoned beef, the products. In reality, a substantial majority of the filling is compromised of substances other than beef and is required to be labeled and advertised as taco meat filling. That's what you're getting. You're getting taco meat filling. You are not getting real meat. You're getting filling. So now that you know, uh, do you still want to eat at Taco Bell? And honestly, I probably would if they did a better job at it. But because like I said, when, once we find out what it is, you're not going to basically, it's, it, to me, it didn't sound like it's anything disgusting. Uh, some people may be allergic to it though, right? But anyway, Taco Bell also misrepresents certain of the product's ingredients as seasoning. However, these ingredients are not added for flavor but rather to increase the volume of the product. These ingredients are binders and extenders, such as an isolated oat product. That is what you're getting. They, you're basically getting oatmeal in your beef taco. So you think you're eating beef taco. They probably put like, you know, 10% in the taco beef, and then the rest of it is just... Uh, oatmeal made to look like beef right so and, and to be honest with you i'm not mad i'm not mad at the fact that i'm eating oatmeal but if, if you're going to go vegan just go vegan and do this shit right just go vegan and do it right i think that taco bell could make a transition to vegan a successful transition trans i'm sorry a, a successful transition to vegan they just have to do the tacos right. Like maybe they want to add in some better uh, filling, like maybe some uh, nut-based filling or something like that and, and make it taste like beef. I mean, because to be honest with you, you've been eating vegan tacos all this time and you had absolutely no idea. And I think that's pretty damn good, the fact that they've been able to successfully make a vegan taco. And when you say vegan taco, most people wouldn't eat it because they was like, I ain't finna eat that stuff. I'm going some real meat. But here you are, you're going back and forth to Taco Bell and, they, and they've been feeding you oatmeal that looks like beef all this time. So I think the fact that they've been able to accomplish this shows that vegan can be successful and it can be profitable, right? So leave my, your questions and comments below and let me know what you think about eating vegan oatmeal tacos at Taco Bell. But anyway, Taco Bell uniformly misrepresent on its package labels, brochures, websites, menus, its television commercials that beef products contain seasoned ground beef rather than taco meat filling. For example, Taco Bell describes its diet product, Fresco Soft Taco, as a warm, soft flour. And this shit just makes me uh, hungry right here. A warm, soft flour tortilla filled with seasoned beef, crisp shredded lettuce and fiesta salsa doesn't that make you hungry i mean just listening to that shit makes you hungry but if you said a warm soft tortilla filled with seasoned oatmeal uh you might not be as hungry right it describes its crunchy taco as a chunky corn taco filled with seasoned ground beef crisp shredded lettuce and real cheddar cheese it describes its beef taco, its, its spicy beef, volcano burrito as a warm, soft flour tortilla that's packed with a double portion of seasoned ground beef. Seasoned rice, crunchy red tortilla strips, real cheddar cheese, cool reduced fat sour cream, and cheesy molten hot lava sauce. Man, look. <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever wrote these advertisements, they damn sure did a, a damn good job because I already know that I'm getting a oatmeal taco, but it's like I, I just kind of want to go out and buy this thing 
anyway, right? So in fact, for these food items and its other products, the seasoned ground beef is not ground beef with seasoned, but taco meat filling. On its website, TacoBell.com, Taco Bell repeats the same misrepresentations and omissions and content and, and contents of its advertisement, right? And then they basically give you an advertisement where on their website where they're saying you're getting ground beef right here, but again, you're not getting ground beef. You're getting oatmeal. Uh, and so on and so forth, right? So I'm not going to read all this. Let's see here. Taco Bell television commercials, restaurant menus, and print advertisers make the false and deceptive misrepresentation and omissions that the beef products contain seasoned ground beef and not a product of substantially lower quality does not meet the definition of beef. For example, 89 cents cheesy double beef burrito. So you should know something is wrong right there. You're getting a burrito for 89 cents. When in God's green earth, are you going to be able to chop up a cow so you can sell that cow for 89 cents? You should know something is wrong with that right now. Uh, Taco Bell advertisement that it sells beef menu items containing seasoned ground beef is unsubstantiated, false, and misleading. The products, unbeknownst to consumers, are comprised substantially of meat filling, also known as oatmeal, and are misleading. Taco Bell seasoned beef actually contains, among other ingredients, water, isolated oat products, oatmeal, wheats, oats. Ooh, they even put soy lecithin in. Uh, so this, to be honest with you, this is a pretty damn healthy taco. So uh, lecithin is actually a product that came on the market some time ago. And what it's supposed to do, it's, it's supposed to help reduce your cholesterol, right? Now, I, don't, I can't remember the science behind it, but I remember... I used to actually put lecithin in a lot of my smoothies, you know, in hopes that, you know, I would uh, fight off, you know, some of this uh, high cholesterol that, you know, I have. So to be honest with you, even though oh, uh, Taco Bell jerked you around, they did, they probably did you a pretty good solid because they're making sure you get your oatmeal. They put in some extra wheat oats and then they threw lecithin in your taco. So, I mean, this is a vegan company. You've been eating vegan all this damn time, and you didn't even know about it. So, malt, uh, malt dextrotin, I don't know what that is. Anti-dusting agent, Ugh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, autolyzed yeast extract, that doesn't sound good either. Uh, modified cornstarch and sodium phosphate, as well as beef seasoning. So, all right, so I don't know about these other ingredients uh, maybe I should have looked them up uh, ahead of time, but I'll start. I'll say they started off with the winner because you're getting oatmeal, more oats, and then you're getting lecithin, and you're getting water, right? So I mean, it starts off as a winning product, and typically, the first few ingredients of uh, a product is the main ingredients. But in this case, they mentioned beef when it's actually not the main ingredient, right? Anyway. Taco Bell definition of seasoned beef does not conform to the consumer's reasonable expectation of ordinary meaning of seasoned beef, which is beef and seasoning. Merriam-Webster defined, I don't think we even have to go through the definition of beef. You know, uh, that's the one thing that kills me about uh, the legal world is that Merriam-Webster defines beef as a, f a flesh of an adult domestic uh, bovin as a steer cow uses food. But again, you already heard me read that it doesn't meet the FDA standards of beef, right? So the def the FDA standards of beef is probably going to have a different standard, uh, which is not going to be the same definition. I'm not going to look it up, but you guys can look it up and you can tell me what the FDA standard of beef. And I'm willing to bet, if I had to bet $50, uh, I'm willing to bet that it's going to allow the manufacturers or the uh, the producers, not manufacturers, may as well be manufacturers. They're going to allow the the beef producers to mix uh, other meat in to basically qualify it as beef, right? So anyway, or other products in like uh, you know soy and, and things like that. Taco Bell uses 
Use of the term seasoned beef also violate and is otherwise inconsistent with the United States Department of Agriculture's USDA's definition. Uh-oh, so we're going to find out what it is. The USDA defines beef as a flesh of cattle. Ground beef should not consist of chopped uh, fresh and frozen beef without, with or without seasoning and with or without addition of beef such as beef fat. As such, shall not contain more than 30% fat. Uh, so you can have and shall not contain and shall not contain added water, phosphates, binders, or etc. So I stand corrected. I stand corrected. But you can mi you can mix in a lot of uh, some of the fat with the beef. Like if you're if you're having ground beef, it looks like you can probably mix in up to 29% fat into the beef. Uh, you know, and it's still pretty bad. Well, actually, the fat kind of makes the meat taste better. Uh, I'm not sure what the threshold is going to be, whereby how much fat do you actually need to make the meat taste good? Because everybody knows if you cook a steak, uh, you generally want some fat on the steak because the fat is going to make the steak taste good. It's going to be the same thing with beef, but you don't want to eat 100% uh, fat because it's just going to be, Ugh! and you're not going to basically feel satisfied after eating it, right? So there we have it, the USDA's definition of beef. I stand corrected on my assumption. The USDA has developed the food standards and labeling policy book, the policy book, might be a good book to look at. The policy book provides guidance to help manufacturers and prepare products labels that are tr truthful and not misleading. Not misleading. The policy book requires food labeling as taco filling to contain at least 40% fresh meat. Damn, so it don't even, it doesn't, they're, they're claiming that Taco Bell does not even meet the standards of meat filling or taco filling, right? Whereas it has to have at least 40% fresh meat. So they, they could still serve you oatmeal and just call it taco filling. Uh, so long as they have the 40% fresh meat. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy to think that they can, you can be tricked to eating something that you think is going to be meat when it's only going to be, and by law, only has to be 40% meat. That's crazy. In addition, the labeling must show the true product name, taco meat, taco filling with meat, beef taco taco filling or taco meat filling. So they have to tell you that this thing is a filling with, with a little bit of meat. Internally, Taco Bell refers to it as seasoned ground beef and seasoned beef as taco meat filling, even labeling the, the container shipped to its restaurants uh, cor correctly while not telling its consumers. So they ship the containers as taco meat filling, but they don't advertise it as taco meat taco meat filling. It looks like they tried to find a loophole. The label reads, oh, and here you go. It's kind of grayed out. I don't know if you guys can see this. The label reads, taco meat filling. I'm assuming this is on their shipping container. Uh, caramel color and natural smoke flavor added. So they're, they're coloring your food. Right, they're, they're mixing in some color into that oatmeal. Ingredients, beef, water, seasoning, uh, isolated oat product, salt, chili pepper, onion powder, taco powder, oats, wheat, soy lecithin, sugar. I can't even see what this is. Sploves? And then a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't even pronounce and I can't even see. All right, so class action allegations. Plaintiff bring this lawsuit on behalf of herself and the proposed class members under Federal Civil Rules of Procedure 23A and B2. The proposed class, in, class consists of all persons in the United States who purchase any food product from Taco Bell that was advertised or labeled as containing beef seasoned, ground beef, or seasoned beef. The class is compromised of many tens of thousands of consumers throughout California and the United States. The class is also numerous that joinder of all members of the class is impractical. So they can't include everybody. The action involves questions of law and fact common to, to the plaintiff and members of the class, which include 
whether Taco Bell has engaged in unlawful, unfair, misleading, deceptive business act or practice through their labeling and advertising practices, whether Taco Bell's labeling and advertising is misleading and or likely to deceive regarding the nature of the product, whether Taco Bell products contain beef with seasoning or taco meat filling, whether Taco Bell's alleged conduct violates public policy, whether Taco whether the plaintiff and class members are entitled to declaratory injunctive relief, including joining Taco Bell from continuing to misrepresent the nature of the products and requiring Taco Bell to engage in corrective advertising campaign. And then this, it looks like, uh, I was about to say this was redacted, but uh, I guess uh, something's wrong with this PDF. The plaintiff claims are typical of the claims of members of the class. The name plaintiff is a member of a class of victims described herein. Plaintiff will fairly and adequately protect the interests of the class and has no interest, interest adverse to which the conflict with the interests of other members of the class. Plaintiff has engaged counsel who are experienced in the prosecution of this type of action. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you were to go and sue Taco Bell on your own and you didn't hire a lawyer, you would be able to do that, but you couldn't represent other people who are in your same situation. You need a lawyer for a class action lawsuit. Uh, I'm going to skip a lot of this stuff. Uh, and, you know, because we pretty much got the gist of this video. Uh, the rest is just going to be legal mumbo jumbo which I do love to read, but I'm just going to end this video because I really just intended to let you guys know that you're not eating uh, meat when you go to Taco Bell. Some people may not mind that because, you know, vegan is good for the environment. It's good for uh, your body. I don't know about all the other stuff they're putting in there, but you're getting a vegan taco. Other people may want to know because they could have medical conditions that cause them to have... Uh, issues with oats, right? You know, some people are allergic to oats, which I believe is how this lawsuit came about, right? I'll read some of it. Plaintiff realleges and incorporates by reference the allegations contained in the paragraph above as fully set for in. This cause of action is brought pursuant to the Consumers Legal Remedies Act, Civil Code 1750. Uh, plaintiff is a consumer as defined as Civil Code 1761. The products and goods within the meaning of the act, Taco Bell violates and continues to violate the act by engaging in the following practices. And you, you guys get the gist of the lawsuit. We don't need to go through everything. Unlawful business acts and practices. That's a violation. Uh... What I really want to know is whether or not she got sick, and it doesn't tell you. Wherefore, plaintiff prays for a judgment certifying the class as a class action, so they want this to be a class action against Taco Bell, awarding declaratory and injunctive relief, including enjoining defendants from continue the unlawful practice SF4AN and continue to misrepresent the true contents and ingredients of their product. Yeah, so, I mean, this is reasonable. They need to stop advertising this stuff is beef either you're going to sell beef or you're going to sell uh vegan products make a decision me personally i think they should do both they should say well you know you can have a beef taco and you know the price is going to be more or you can have this vegan taco with a little beef in it right so i don't even know if it would qualify as vegan at that point it's a you can have this half vegan taco at a cheaper price i think they should do that you know, and I think people would still buy it because uh, the how they make the tacos is actually what causes people to buy it. Everybody knows they're going to be hungry after eating one of those beef tacos, but they still buy it anyway. So the way the, the ingredients in the taco must be delicious. Otherwise, people wouldn't be buying it. So now this should also explain why you have to go to the restroom after you eat a Taco Bell taco. The reason is, is because they're basically serving you fiber. They're serving you fiber. So, yeah, you're going to go right to the restroom and all that stuff is going to come right up, right up out you. I think, honestly, I think they should try to turn this negative into a positive and just sell vegan tacos. Anyway, directing defendants to engage in corrective and advertising campaign. 
uh, awarding plaintiffs attorney fees and costs and awarding such relief as may be just and proper. They didn't even ask for any money. Huh. So whoever filed this, they, they must genuinely just care about, you know, doing right. Because here, they didn't ask for any money. The judge may actually award money to them, right? Award such relief as may be just and proper. But nowhere in this did they actually add, ask for money. And maybe that's a problem. Maybe they need to sue Taco Bell for some money to get them to correct their action because, I mean, there's no teeth in this lawsuit. So Taco Bell is probably thinking like, yeah, whatever, beat it. And, you know, if they lose, all they have to do is just, you know, change up their program. But if they threaten to actually uh, take a substantial amount of money, Taco Bell would probably own his own. So, you know what? You call me player. We, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and... Uh, uh, correct our action. We see the error in our ways. You got us. Uh, we're going to basically put non taco meat filling, or we're just going to say half vegan taco instead of saying beef, you know? So anyway, that's it for this video. Leave your questions, comments, concerns. Are you still going to eat Taco Bell tacos? That's really what I want to know. Do you mind that you're getting oatmeal instead of beef? Or, you know, you're actually getting a combination of probably 10% beef and, uh, you know, 90% oatmeal. At least that's my speculation, right? So do you mind? Are you still going to go to Taco? Do you, uh, are you still going to go to Taco Bell? Do you even care that you're not getting beef? Leave your questions and comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe.